welcome back. It's Stationeers, it's Titan. How is it possible? It's a mod. Um, so, last time I spent the first 30 minutes or so getting set up on this beautiful um, moon that is Titan. Um, so, I am going to, uh, as it's loading in the terrain, I am going to um see how far i can get in the next 30-ish minutes um so the issue here is obviously cold temperature which kills batteries um and uh lack of power is what's going to kill me if i'm not careful so i am going to um get out there and gather some of those tasty hydrocarbons that we see all over the landscape um that will give us something. You'll see lots and lots of ice, not much else, not much else at all. Um, that's how it's meant to be. Um, let's see what I can find. Let's keep a bit of an eye on that battery. It's already at 20%, that's not good. I've already gone quite a long way away from home. I should probably have set up a tracker, but I don't really trust a battery power tracker with my life in these temperatures. Um, look how fast my suit battery is dropping. I'm actually going to have to head for home. Um, this is not great. Oh, well, I can see a bit of very rare iron. Whoa! And a load of fog for my uh, punishment for digging it up. But. That's at least a little bit of iron that will be useful. It's only eight, but you know, that's eight more than I started with. Uh, but I do really, really. Yeah, I know power critical. I know, I know, I know, I know. Come on. There's a bit more iron though. I'll take that. Whoa. That was fairly brutal. Got sucked straight into the hole. Okay, well, I think we've proved that there was no coal in that direction. 5% uh, battery, 54% battery, boom, right. Okay, so what I have now got is at least a bit of iron. Let's go and see what else I can find in this time. Oh, right there. Lovely. So what I'm thinking is if I can basically gather a bit of a supply, um, that would be good. Um, Oh, look, there's some more. I'd like to be in a state where I don't have to keep running out to do more mining for coal, hydrocarbons, or whatever they are. I mean, the game was called some coal, but... Uh, oh, that doesn't look too see-through. There's some more there. You'll see I have actually renamed them hydrocarbons in the, uh, in the world, because um, the idea of coal on any planet really other than Earth is something I find kind of slightly annoying. Um, however, um, once you mine it, it becomes coal. But, you know, what is coal really other than a lump of hydrocarbons? I guess. Um, right, how are we doing? I've got a few, but not a huge amount there. Battery's down to 36%. Well, there's some more there. Though. This hill's good for it. This seems to be a good seam. Although there may be, I've maybe jinxed it now by saying that, because now I don't see any more, so perhaps that was not so good. It is, of course, very difficult. You can see how foggy it is. Um, that's the uh, challenge here. Um, one of several. Um, no, there's no more in that hole, or if there is, I can't see it. Let me out! Get me out of the hole! Right. Uh, which way is base? Okay, it's over there. Um, well, that looks like some as well. I'm starting to be able to recognise it when I see it in the distance. Okay, this is looking a bit better. I'm down to 23% battery again already. Okay, this is actually looking like a halfway decent seam of it. Oh, I've got a bonus little bit of iron there as well. Iron veins tend to be, uh, well, all metal veins tend to be both rare and small. Um, because they're meant to represent just where meteorites and things like that that have come from space carrying some metals have 
crashed on the surface. Um, right, okay, I have now, however, got quite a good amount of fuel for the solid fuel generator. So that is at least a start. Let's see more here. I just went the wrong way on that first run, didn't I? Anyway, never mind. Right, let's get back. Let's fix this up. So, um, let's get some of this in here. Uh, I'm actually going to chuck one of those in. Let it really charge, because that's only on 19. Not that nicely charged up. And then I'm going to fire up the uh, mine again. Right, this is gone through everything that I have mined, so I'll spin that down. It's another 12 iron, and I've got another three here. Oh, gosh, I've nearly got enough to... Um... No, I haven't really got enough to do anything, have I? Here, at least that's charging. 28, 30, come on. Let's flip that through there. That makes me feel slightly less vulnerable. Right. Turn that on. Off you go. How's this coming along as we spun down? Yeah, right. So I've got, even got a little bit of copper there, look. Luxury that is. Sad thing is, it actually is here. Right, there we go. Right, whoops, fell in a hole. Okay, let's. Put all of this in here. In you go, in you go. There we go. I've actually got some sheets left so I could fill in some of those holes I keep falling in as well. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, let's do that. Um, I don't really know why I'm keeping that closed. It's not like it's an airlock, but it's good practice to get into. job there, that's good, right, okay, and we'll fire that back up, and we we'll flick that back across there, okay, yeah, this was actually useful putting this wall here, I wasn't sure it would make any difference, but it stopped the uh, mind ore from falling straight down the hole, so that's good news, um, however, I'm kind of out of things to do again already, right, um, Okay, so I guess what I need really is to um, probably start thinking about closing some of this up and actually I think steel's going to be pretty important here because it's a way of using less iron to build a frame. So let's see about how far, I'm sure I'm hugely far away from here to build a furnace, but let's have a quick look. Uh, well actually I've got just about got enough iron but I haven't got any anywhere near enough copper. Um, okay, what's the battery situation? It's decent. Right, I'm going to go and see if I can find anything else useful to mine. See if I can actually find any metal. Don't think I'm going to find awfully much, but every little bit I find helps slightly. Uh, no. That looks uh, silicon. 
Well, I'll take it anyway, it's still useful. A bit more coal. Might as well have that while I'm over here. Oops, picked up some volatiles by accident there, don't really need them yet. I mean, one good thing is because it spawns the atmosphere in when I move around, I've kind of left myself a bit of a breadcrumb trail, I guess. I'll find out how effective it is when I try and find my way home. I saw some spiky bits. I thought maybe they were going to be metals, but they weren't, were they? That's the battery holding up 31%. Probably time to start heading back. Okay. Um, oh, nothing over here. It's quite difficult to see. Um, once you get into this fog, no, there's no more here. Oh well. I mean, I guess uh, the chance of pulling much out of the ground without any sort of uh, sensor lenses or scanning or anything is quite low, but. Still worth a little look. Uh, battery is 18%. Okay. Uh, oh, I thought I'd seen something. The colour of iron there, but it was just the way the rock was. Uh, what's going on down here? Oh, there was some more iron. That's what's going on there. Okay, this is worth digging out then. March, but okay, that's time to go. Okay, there we go. Well, it's the start. Got a reasonable amount of this coming out of here now as well, so that's good. Chuck that in there. Right, okay, there's a bit more iron and a few other things coming through there, so I guess we just keep going. Uh, have I just run out of power? I have, haven't I? Actually, let's, uh, let's just get like a two stack tube through first. See how fast we're eating power here. Um, there's not really much to be done about that. more raw materials slowly getting there. Oh, it's foggy in here now as well. Right. Um, is there anything else I could do anything useful with? Actually, do you know what I could do is to um, actually set up the locker. Oh, try to. Is that the right way around? I hope so. No, oh, it's the wrong way round. I thought it looked kind of weird, but then I was like, why would it naturally spawn backwards? Oh good, power critical. It must be time to go back and uh, recharge my battery again. Right, I'm not even going to bother with that for now. I'm just going to... Right, okay. There's a reason for this. Don't really care where these go for a minute, I just want them out of the way. Yeah. Right, okay, and. No, we don't want to insert it onto this. There we go, right. Right, what we've got left in there. Start. There's the drill. There 
is. Put that one in there. Okay, right, I can at least now move in here. What's left in construction supplies one? Well, Mm. Don't think we've been using that for anything other than recycling. Um, oops, nearly. everywhere it's a complete mess but uses up a lot less floor space than three crates look at that and we'll stand that up over there right these portable appliance kits will be useful later come on get in there right that's a bit better anyway right Let's just chuck that in there for now don't really care about the flares too much they will be useful later but but now let's just get that out of the way. Right, okay. Just a lot of uh, killing time whilst things. Oh, that's I've left that running. That's almost criminal in these conditions. Um, okay, good. Right, that's going. How's this coming along? Oh, we've actually got some look, some gold and all sorts in there. A bit more copper. Okay. It's decent. I think once I can get this a little bit more automated, um, this could start to actually be a reasonable production chain. So we're already down to our last uh, two stacks of coal, though. We really are burning it. Partly because all this lot's running, but don't really want to turn it off. It's the only, uh, only way I'm going to get any progress made. Um, right. Let's get some uh, iron sheets made and close up some more of these. frugal with these but hopefully I've got enough to uh, close up the remaining holes beats falling in them Right, that should keep that stuff from blowing away. At least reduce the chance of it. In fact, if I were to put one in there, there we go. Right, that should now be semi secure. There we go. It's not great because it's a bit tight there, but at least means that. Hopefully the ore will just end up floating around. Now I wonder whether if I took that off, can I? Yes. No, not quite, because it's not quite for the end. We are. Let it spin back up again. Chew its way through the next three. It's starting to get a little bit of a stock of stuff there, though, so that's a start. There we go. That's still charging. Mm -hmm. 
cleats. Yeah, okay. Right, so quite early on I need to get an electronics printer so I can get some more of these up and running. Although they're going to need copper as well. Since this is processed, this last one I'm going to chuck another one in. Okay, that gets rid of that. Good, right, okay. Let's see if I can do enough for an electronics printer. I don't think I can yet, but it's worth a look. Uh, right, I need one more gold, which I know is coming out of that centrifuge, and I'll need seven copper. Okay, I think that's got to be my next priority. Um, why am I looking at the furnace? Uh, right, okay, not enough copper yet, but hopefully there will be. I'm looking at the rate that this is depleting, and I'm thinking actually with probably two more of these, hopefully will be enough. Although I probably ought to build them a bit higher up so they're out of the way. I've not exactly built them in the smartest place here, but... Uh, right, let me have a think then. Can I do another... Uh, just another couple of frames. Do fry in 33. Come in here, you realise how noisy it is out there with all that machinery running. Three frames, I think, will do the job. And uh, three iron sheets to go with. Okay, in there, in there, in there. Okay, that's a reasonable sized area that I can now connect up. So I'm going to just get a little bit ahead of myself. I'm going to space to connect two more of those. Um, okay, that's charging. Another 30 in here. How fast is this chewing through them? Not fast enough. So we can just save some power by turning this off for a bit now. Still not there with the copper, am I? No. I think a second centrifuge is going to be a uh, high priority item as well. Anyway, for now. How's that doing? 52%. Okay, it's charging. We'd probably be charging faster if I hadn't left that on. stack in there. As soon as I've got an electronics printer I can also put some electronics around this thing so that it uh, doesn't just run forever. Um, I have a feeling otherwise I'm going to quite quickly burn my way through all of the uh, hydrocarbon supplies that are within reach of base. Ah, and there, yeah. Drills also run out of power now. So I'll switch that across there. And I'm 
also dying of hunger and thirst. Splendid. Right, there we go. That there. Let that run. Okay, right. Okay, I'm going to have to uh, sort myself out now, so let's get in here and vacuum it out. Let's see the pressure dropping pretty rapidly, but then it gets down to limited, very limited, because there's almost nothing left in here. But there is a little bit, and that's still freezing cold. That's my first bottle of water consumed as well. Come on, do that last little bit. Still might have it on nil. Right. Whoops. Yeah, I know. But you know, how do you want to die? Right. Oh, that sounds delightful. Right, okay. Save some power. Okay. 82% was good enough. I should think. Right, how's this coming along? Oh, it's getting through it now. Only four copper still, though. That's definitely still a problem. Right, let's just think about this. Once I open that up, I've got another situation I really want to avoid, which is any of the actual ore blowing away. Which is a serious consideration here. Um, low gravity and highly thick atmosphere, it actually is a serious problem. Right, okay, that creates a little bit of a, a pen at least. Um, I'll put the other one there. Right, okay, it's not great. I'll be honest, it's not quite how I would want this to be. Um, although I suppose it is the beginnings of an area I could close in later, um, so it's not all bad. Um, Six copper, nearly one more, and then I've got the ten I need to make the electronics printer. Hopefully, I've also got enough wire to actually connect it and build it. Oh, that's pretty tight. Probably haven't. Let's see how we get on. It would be nice to have done the second half hour with actually having made a bit of progress, but. I think, you know, it's, I, it, I'm feeling slightly less like I'm about to die than I was at the start of this episode. Not hugely, but I'm starting to see the beginnings of, you know, actually having a bit of survivability here. A lot of waiting though, that's the main challenge, but go, okay. Um, This is just not happening. 
is it? Uh, shall I spin it down? Let's throw the next lot in. Might be worth it. I'll let it finish this piece, and then I think I might do exactly that. At least there's a reason we're out of iron in there now. In the meantime, I can add that to there. That creates me an inventory slot. If I turn it on, this is a close it again. It can. up it is Next. I actually thought the gold would cause quite a lot of uh, flame out as it smelted, but it doesn't appear to have done, which is good. I'm sure it will do once I close the area a bit, but. Obviously we will want to capture the gases coming off that smelter. Frankly we want to capture anything that's not nitrogen or volatiles. Right, let's get that in there, get that in there, get that in there, get that in there. There we go, right. So we don't have enough for an electronics printer yet. Um, why am I doing that the slow way? Um, because doing it the fast way goes out, but we are only one copper off, so that's good. Um, although I'm going to need more copper for cabling, as I say, so... Um, I don't know where I'm going to put the thing. I suppose I'll have to probably put it across there, won't I? So I might as well start figuring this out now. Uh, can I stack these? That would be nice. Yep, perfect. There we go. That's um, wonderfully tidy. Yeah, there's my other copper as well. Fantastic. So I'll grab that out. See if I can get to a stage where by the end of the episode I have got an electronics printer, that would be lovely. Just realised I could reclaim a bit of cable off there, actually. Because we don't need those two, that's actually three. long but it'll help. Um, do turn that off. That's spinning back up. Yep. Fantastic. Here we go. One 
electronics printer coming up. Okay, so I'm going to need uh, four of these for finishing it. I am going to need to get the uh, power cable across to uh, if I'm going to put it directly opposite, I guess to there, to be fair. Um, although I might move it one further along here if I've got enough cable. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, just. Oh no, except I interrupted the. Stupid. Should have waited. Right, okay. Do it again. Right, so the electronics printer can go across there. Get that finished, and then we'll be done. force the muscle memory of keeping that airlock shut because uh, sooner or later I'm going to care. And that's still at 50%. In fact, one thing I... Ah! See? Got to learn to remember it, otherwise I'm going to end up venting once I've got some gas and venting it. But what I came out to do was to get this. One thing that would be very useful to be able to do would be to be able to have a battery pack in here so that once I start to actually be able to warm it up, it's not going flat quite so fast. Right, come on. Okay, this is not going to be half an hour, is it? This is uh, going to be 40 minutes, but. Never mind, hopefully we'll get there. It would have been half an hour if this would print faster. Maybe. Yay! Right, okay, there we go. So, let's get this in. Straight in there. Bash. Right, and I need uh, sheets. Iron sheets. Uh, do I need two or do I need four? I think I need four, but I've confused myself now. No, I only needed two. Do need four cable coil, but I've got them. And I need those, and I need this, and there we go. A bit more little fieriness going on there. Um, and I need the screwdriver. Go. See that fire boosted the temperature in here to a massive minus 166. Right, okay, there we go. So what am I going to need for another upright wind turbine? I'm going to need um, 10 iron, which I've got, 5 gold, which I have not got, but I've got some gold, uh, too. And um, guess what? I'm going to need 10 more copper, but at least that means once I start getting some copper out of the ground... Um, I can start building more wind turbines, which means I shouldn't be short of power. Um, so that's a good start. Okay, so I think we will uh, call it to a halt there um, from my very foggy Titan base. Um, that was, uh, I think, something vaguely resembling success for the, uh, the second part. Um, and uh, I hope to see you on the next episode.